like, share, and subscribe. Love and light. Good evening to my beautiful viewers. Thank y'all for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot on this beautiful, beautiful Monday evening, okay? And this video is timeless, so whenever you click on this video, it's meant for you to hear it, especially if the title attracted you or it popped up or just started playing on your TV, okay? It's really meant for you to hear this video, so be patient and watch it the full way through. Hit that like button for me. Do not be lazy, okay? Show me some love. I'm taking the time out to give y'all these messages, which I don't mind, but please give me a like, okay? So my video can get out there to those who don't know about my channel and need these messages okay please keep in mind though my readings are general okay the energies are free it's just energy i'm picking up on so only take what resonate with you in your life and leave the rest don't stress yourself the fuck out okay or have anxiety um and tax about something i said in this video if you don't even know if that's happening or you know for a fact you don't have history of this person doing things like that or stuff like that okay so only take what resonates with you guys once again subscribe to my channel though if you're not um subscribed so you can be a part of the kiara's love tarot family and i love y'all so much to my day ones let's go ahead and tap straight in also one more thing go ahead and comment okay if this video does resonate with you all right positive comments only anything negative will be deleted so let's go ahead and tap in um with the energies for my viewer okay so i'm gonna pull a card for you and i'm gonna pull a card for your person what they're needing to um what message does the spirit guides have for you guys and for them all right archangel michael archangel gabriel master sananda aka jesus please put your light around me and my collective uh protect us from any negative energies all right P place positive energies around us only okay and assist me in channeling these messages for them, all right? Allow these messages that you have for them to come through my cards. Let's see what messages you got from my viewers. Okay, we, they got two messages. So we got wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. And then we have activated earth. Power places, lead lines, trust where you are led, okay? So... It's two different energies that I'm picking up, okay? So we got an energy that is not quite there yet. So this could be the collective of viewers who are still um, suffering over a loss of a relationship, okay? That aren't quite healed, haven't quite accepted um, the situation. I feel like this weight card is letting you guys know that the reason why you guys are not seeing something play out how you want it to play out um, regardless to if it's a relationship or a job or your life period, if you just feel purposeless in life at the moment, um, first of all, you don't need to feel like that, okay? But they want you guys to wait and see something, okay? It's something that you cannot miss this round in your healing cycle, okay? You have to really understand the assignment this time, okay? They really want you guys to to get the problem solved in this lesson with your person, okay, with your family, uh, friends, the type of careers and choices you make that affect your everyday life, okay? They're still writing your story out for some, okay? And for another piece of this energy, your story is already written out, okay? But you have not yet understood the assignment only take what resonates though. But you haven't fully understood the assignment at this point. So you guys gotta be a little patient. Give your time yourself time to heal so you can get to that place, okay? So you could get to that time where you waking up and it's all smiles, okay? You can take a deep breath again. You happy to see the sun shining again, all right? When you happy to just be alive again, okay? Because somebody just feels like they is just not meant to be here, okay? Not like they want to kill themselves, but they just don't feel right here on earth. Like they're not from here. They feel out of place, okay? And some of you guys are starting to feel out of place because you guys are starting to realize who you really are. Um, your DNA is starting to activate, okay? And your real, true, higher self is starting to come out. Okay, memories are coming back 
for somebody. So that's a message for somebody. But those of you guys who are still working on healing your heart, just wait so you can heal, okay? Stop rushing the process. Stop rushing for a new love. You know damn well you ain't ready to love nobody right now. Um, yeah, don't rush it, okay? Wait and chill, okay? It's not your time yet to be in love or to be, I'm not going to say to be in a happy space. It, yeah, of course, it's your time to be in a happy space, but it's not your time to get to where another energy of my collective that's watching me is already at, okay? There's an energy watching me also who is already cleansed that part of them, okay? They've shedded that heartbreaks energy, that skin. They did the work. They're continuing to do the work. They're not contacting their person. They're not looking and checking for their person. They're just, the most they're doing is watching tarot videos, okay? Because I ain't gonna lie, you're you gonna stay curious until it's just completely out your system. But some of you guys are on different levels of growth and healing, okay? So these is two different messages. We got activated earth for those of you who are, are on the healing cycle, okay? You have shedded your skin and you at that, you up, it's up there and it's stuck there. We got power place, lead lines and trust where you're led. So now it's time for you guys to start taking a leap of faith and let the universe lead you in life, okay? Your faith is being tested. The universe wants to see how much y'all trust them, okay? They want to see if you really, really trust them, like you say, and like you pray, okay? A lot of you guys have said, I'm leaving this situation in your hands, God. I'm through with it, okay? They want to know for sure if that's what it is, all right? So they're leading you to your path. Strap your seatbelts up and come on for the ride, okay? You guys are going on a roller coaster ride this time. Not an emotional one, but an abundant roller coaster, okay? They're going to ride y'all through different levels of abundance from finances to happiness to serendipity to uh, prosperity, okay? To finding yourself, your real true self, okay? To finding your background, your, your identity and all that shit, okay? So y'all get ready for this new um, life that you're currently living, okay? That's about to just start bringing you a whole bunch of apples, strawberries, pineapples, and, and all the sweetest fruits, okay? Get ready for life to get sweet for you, all right? And for those of you still in heartbreak energy, not to make it seem like y'all just need to stay in a depressed energy because that's not what I was saying. But you guys definitely need to wait it out, okay? Wait. Don't wait on no person. Don't wait on nobody. But wait for your heart and your mind to match up and be operating on the same level, okay? Wait for your, your spirit and soul to be ready to elevate, okay? Don't try to fake elevate. Elevate. Give yourself time to heal. So now let's pull a card for your person. Let's see what message we have for your person. What message do you have for my viewer's person? What message do you have? We got inner earth. You'll survive this new, new solutions and beginnings, okay? So um, your spirit guides and my spirit guides want you guys to know that your person needs to understand that he's going through hella shit, okay? Well, not really that he needs to understand, but yeah, he do need to understand. He needs to realize that he wrote a check that his ass just cannot cash, okay? That's a metaphor. Or for some, it's really probably happening. But he wrote a check that his ass can't cash in a lot of different situations with people. And the universe wants him to know he's going to survive his karma, okay? Because he's asking fate and trying to bribe fate to hold his karma. But no, okay? She When, he, when it's your time to get your ass whooped, it's time to get your ass whooped, okay? And I'm not being, I'm not saying literal, but, you know, it's just tower moment after tower moment. Um, a lot of them are, it's like peeling a potato. They're being peeled of the negativity. It's very uncomfortable for them because they don't like shifts, okay? They're not used to doing new things that they don't know how the outcome is going to be. They they're, they like having reliability, reliable people in their lives. And to not have these different energies anymore because they're losing friends. 
that they couldn't see or they do see now that ain't for them. They're losing jobs, businesses, income, flows, uh, toxic car. I'm not toxic cars, but cars that attack, not attack, cars that attract toxic energies into their life, okay? Not saying that just because you have a specific car, it's going to attract toxic energy. But if you riding around in a top-notch car, flashy car, that's what the girl's going to like, okay? Or if you're a woman driving a nice-ass car, man going to look at you like, damn, shorty on her shit. Let me, let me go talk to her, okay? When you are putting things out, and when you're putting yourself out there to attract things, they will attract things, okay? So your person was attracting um, things that didn't serve him, okay, and didn't serve his kids, didn't serve his family, okay, just by the way he wanted to live or she wanted to live, but they feel like it's the end of the world as they know it right now um, in their life with just the different um, rocks and stones that's being thrown at them um, in full speed to the point where they feel like life is over for them, okay, they, they're doing a lot of um, memories back then what i mean by life is over for them they just feel like it's back to the struggle for some and it's they ain't never experienced struggle and this is hard on them okay and they just don't have to be struggled financially it could be struggling with their mental they usually you know could be the type of person that they are a strong person mentally okay but they're having a t hard time taking a grasp on their situation and their, their reality and their message from spirit is they'll survive this you'll eventually karma your karma stop okay you'll you'll be okay it's all right you know divine feminine had to go through the same thing and look at her now okay so you you'll get there eventually it'll take a few years probably months but you know it, you'll get there, okay? So let's get some more messages going. So we got new job, new business, new home, new truck, new car, new baby, okay? So somebody is manifesting all these things. Um, somebody has all these things, okay? Or somebody's got all these things coming back to back to back for them, okay? But a baby for somebody is the last thing on their list at the moment. But it is in the manifestation, Um list as well so somebody do want a baby but they want this baby when they can bring this baby into security okay somebody um is really excited for christmas this year or somebody is excited because of this new business or new job that they have this new home they'll be able to enjoy a proper christmas okay for some somebody don't even celebrate holidays so this may not resonate for somebody but for somebody christmas or just holidays period is everything to you and you could have had past holidays have made ugh, my, i'm so tongue-tied today okay Past holidays may have not been the best memories for you, okay? You may have spent them alone, struggling, not being able to afford things or afford gifts or afford to gift anyone, okay? But these days, you letting God handle all things above you, okay? So, you put everything in his hands and because you did that, he's working shit out for you. And some of you guys just, just are breathing in this fresh breath of air and you know shit gonna work out. You know life in this this year, this 2022 year is gonna be it for a lot of y'all, okay? Y'all gonna be very, very, very impressed, happy and glad y'all waited and glad y'all was done the way y'all was done by this user and abuser because y'all's top notch, okay? Y'all stats then went up. Y'all net worth is going up, okay? I could be speaking to somebody who is a clingy woman or man in relationships or just period, okay? You could be a very clingy energy. You don't like being alone. So uh, your alone time is being tested at this moment. You may have, if you're somebody who's normally always around people, um, it may be coming off that people don't want to be bothered with you or everybody's busy. That's because the universe is setting it up for you to have no choice but to be alone because you need to start doing your own thing. Somebody's birthday is on is, is falling on the day of Easter this year. 
we got spring somebody's birthday is in the spring we got easter and spring okay so somebody's easter is gonna be turned up this year or somebody's got a surprise or somebody's ex-user or abuser is gonna come back in contact with them sometime near the spring or easter okay somebody's gonna want to come back around if you haven't been talking to your person or if you've been expecting communication i know you wonder like damn why so long why because this person is like i said in the beginning of the reading they're going through so much shit that <laughs> look we got you've got to be kidding me okay so yeah they're going through so much shit that all they can all they can say at this point is <laughs> you've got to be kidding me man okay you got to be fucking shitting me all right somebody is being forced to come out of their comfort zone we got the stable on here as well so this means that somebody's not stable unless they are in a comfort zone okay or their comfort zone is no longer stable there's no more balance where they wherever they feel comfortable or wherever you feel they felt was more comfortable for, comfortable for them it's no longer a stable situation or a stable place um their mind is not stable either so some of them the universe is blocking them from communicating with you because they're going to come to you trying to talk to you or take they, um discomfort energy out on you like you did this, like you wrote they book to their life, like you planned for them to be disloyal to you and shit on you and drag you through the mud and lie to your face and humiliate you, okay? They're going to come to you for some because they work. Be, this is their time to work on this these fucked up traits about they self talking to them right now will interfere with that and you'll get the same person you left in the past okay so a lot of them ain't gonna come talking to y'all for a few months because for some y'all left them speechless okay with y'all break up with some words you said to them on the last conversation okay um you guys left them with a lot to think about um and some of the things you put in their mind or some of the things you said they can't help but to marinate on it because you was real as hell with whatever you said to them they can't help but respect you but they don't want to tell you that they can't tell you that they respect you giving them advice and keeping it real with them when nobody else will okay been around all these years and now you now you saying i'm bringing you down yeah somebody feels like you've allowed them to bring you down all these years in a relationship or situationship okay or a third party situation or in a marriage or in a baby daddy situation baby mama situation somebody feel like why now did you pick the time to run off and heal yourself okay why now what was so specific about this particular time zone or time frame that made you get decide to just leave me alone now all this shit is hitting me and for some of you guys your person if they know you're spiritual if they know you're um into readings and tarot readings and stuff like that especially if they're very low vibrational some of them could be thinking you put a spell on them to make their life fall apart but <laughs> um i don't pick up that you guys are doing those things not saying that none of y'all have ever attempted to try it because i know some of y'all have but um i don't pick up that anybody in my collective is doing any witchcraft to bring a connection back okay because if you've been watching me long enough you know damn well that's how you get your karma okay that's how the universe stops you writing your tracks okay and puts you back to square one we're not using magic to control people that's not the, a part of the law of balance okay a magic is not for that and that's where people got that all wrong using magic to harm people and gain control is how you get a fat ass ticket of karma on your life path okay um we got you're fucking up my career at the top of the deck we both wrong in this situation okay nurse doctor or dentist so somebody could be a nurse doctor or dentist watching this video or going to school for any of those subjects or majors okay also somebody could have appointment coming up with a nurse doctor or a dentist all right but also somebody just feels like back to this card when they said they've been around been around all these years and you just now saying that they bringing you back down somebody's wondering where is this strength come from in this relationship okay yeah i lied yeah i cheated but wh why now why are you walking away now okay somebody also another reason they can't come back to you right now is because they they they're wearing this facade in their mind that y'all were both wrong in the situation okay that this is something that both of y'all did especially if you were in a third party situation okay regardless to what role you played 
um, they feel like y'all both knew better, okay? They don't want to be the only person that takes responsibility for the pain and sorrow and disloyalty and all that. They don't want to take credit for that alone, okay? And this is why they going through karma too, because they need to learn how to make better fucking choices. Therefore, they don't have to um, um, point the finger, okay? This is a finger pointer, or this is somebody in an energy ready to come talk to you and still point the finger. Um, somebody, when they apologize to you, they're going to tell you that they were both wrong in this situation. I'm going to pull from my Where the Truth is Found deck to see why this person feels. Look, as soon as I split the deck, we got Divine Masculine, Major Narcissist, and Weight Loss. So your masculine could be losing hella weight, okay? So when some of y'all see y'all masculine for the in person, or if you ever plan to ever see them, and especially if you got kids with them, you'll see them, but you might start noticing a heavy weight loss in your person because they're not eating. Um, some of them are choosing to detox because they don't eat properly, but some of them are just so heartbroken um, about how their life is looking at the moment that they don't even have an appetite to eat. Some of them can't even afford to eat. We got karmic woman. So we got, we both wrong in this situation. We got unprotected sex, single mother, new pregnancy, new parent, great mother, okay? Miserable energy, wow. So this is involving a child, okay? I'm picking up an energy with a child. So baby mama's where y'all at, okay? If you're not a baby mother, you might not resonate with this particular part, okay? But I'm picking up on if you have a child uh, come, uh, for this, we both wrong in this situation card right here. Um, to clarify that, somebody was karmic in a situation that involves a child, okay? So somebody could have had a child or put a hole in a condom, okay? Or convinced somebody to have unprotected sex with them, maybe lied and said they were on birth control. This could have been something you've done, or this could be something um, another person did to your, part, to your baby daddy or baby mama, okay? Or this is a situation that I'm picking up on. Like I said, take what resonates. Somebody was a karmic baby mother, okay? Also, somebody is a karmic girlfriend, okay? In the situation I'm picking up is somebody is a single mother because their narcissist, divine masculine, is dating a karmic woman. Now, if you're a man watching this video, um, please, please, please apply it the way that it needs to apply to your life. Majority of my audience is women, okay? And until my audience of men rises i'm gonna remain speaking and you know like i'm talking to the woman that's wanting to know about her guy okay because i only have eight percent of males that watch me okay so i apologize to anybody that feels like i go hard on the masculines i love all men i just don't like these type of men okay so i always say in my readings if the energy is not yours do not absorb it don't take it okay if you know you're not one of these type of men this don't resonate with you at that moment okay and if you're a man watching to see what's going on with your woman flip the roles okay flip it for you ignore me saying him okay and just say her in your mind okay but majority of my audience is female so i have to talk to my females okay but back to this somebody um is with a karmic Okay, and this karma could be also losing hella weight right now. She could be very skinny. Um, people could think, especially if your masculine and narcissist, uh, I was going to say a narcissist, if your masculine and his karmic are in a relationship, okay, this is for somebody with a third party. Um, if they're in a relationship with each other and you're not in the relationship, you left the connection and they're still with a person, people on the outside looking in could think that your masculine and the karmic is sick and may have something. I'm not saying that they do, but with the weight loss that they have in this tremendous weight loss um it's causing people to ask questions and have concerns okay that's a message but really for some of them a lot of this weight loss is just being in consistent miserable energy on a daily basis okay not getting a break from the bullshit also somebody is miserable about a new pregnancy that could have came out or like I said, if your person was in a relationship with somebody and you came in on the relationship um you may have, and this is for somebody that has a kid with a person that they're watching this video about, okay? This may not have be how your situation played out, but either way it goes, um, somebody stressed the hell out about 
being a parent or having some unprotected sex and getting a baby out of the deal with somebody else, um, being pulled away from their newborn child or having their um, parenthood stripped away from them, being having the ability. Well, first of all, you can you this masculine energy is feeling this way. Okay, he feels like his parenthood has been snatched away from him. So if you are choosing to do you with your child and um, go on with your life with no communication for the moment. Your person, your baby father could be upset because, or feeling miserable um, because he can't access um, y'all energy or, you know, some of them could be calling you bitter, okay? Whatever. Um, somebody could be calling you miserable. It could be a karmic woman saying you're very miserable and you won't let their person see the baby, but she's not telling or he's not telling how she's including um, the negativity in the situation making you not want to bring your child around okay because you're a great mother and you vouch to not show your child what you go through okay also like i said some sex brought a child in and this caused a problem in a masculine's life this is what's got him miserable because it's a real sticky situation involving a baby okay or somebody being newly pregnant and somebody's telling somebody that we was both wrong in this situation so yeah somebody could have had a baby on somebody okay on in easter somebody could have found out last Easter about this baby or somebody's baby is due Easter okay and, and there could be a karmic woman hella miserable about this a masculine hella miserable this could be causing them to lose weight this could be the the uh, crack that broke the camel's back in a foundation in a toxic relationship that was already toxic from the jump in the situation okay so it's a big mess that I'm picking up on different scenarios involving a child like somebody's freshly pregnant and it's causing problems in a relationship somebody is in a relationship is pregnant okay and wants to be a great mother but it's gonna end up being a single mother because they did something out of spite to trap somebody into parenthood uh or to steal somebody away from somebody somebody did something real shysty involving a child now children coming in this world ain't shysty but it's how you go about it that makes it shysty either way it goes the way that you went about it it was meant to happen that way so how However, the spirit guys choose to bring a baby. I mean, not spirit guy. However, God chooses to send a soul into this earth. They have to come in that way, regardless to if we like it or not. We looking at shit um, 3D. We're looking at shit in the 3D way, not in the 5D way. Okay, we looking at it, at it in the matrix way. We don't really pay attention to the deeper purpose and why people come into this world. We just know, oh, this hurts me, or I didn't like this, or this we didn't love, and it's different scenarios. Okay, but. If this is your situation, okay, or if you just have a baby daddy that's not in your child's life, okay, and you got pregnant. Also, I'm picking up somebody could have got pregnant and ran off and left somebody to be a single mother, but you're a damn good mother, okay? You had unprotected sex with this person maybe once or twice, and boom, you was pregnant, and this person put you through miserable energy your whole pregnancy, and that's why you ain't fucking with them now, okay? Or somebody just has kids with you, and they running you down, period, okay? So your person is not ready to let y'all know that they are completely wrong. They still want you to take some blame in that situation. Um, also clarify this uh, that card for another energy. We got we both know you wrong in this situation with protecting your peace, body of a goddess, and a happy relationship. Okay, so somebody had an addiction to women with very curvy body shapes. All right, somebody that. Um, was in a happy relationship somebody's body attracted somebody to ruin a foundation in a happy relationship um somebody didn't protect the peace of the relationship or didn't protect you in a relationship they let their temptation um take over the loyalty that they were supposed to have for you and when you found out about it or brought it to the situation um, somebody wanted to make it seem like you somehow played a part in them not being able to keep it in their pants or be loyal to you, okay? Somebody was careless in a relationship. Somebody um, didn't care about how you would feel at that moment. Um, this could be somebody who acts off of impulse or who was hurt real bad by a parent or just, uh, and what I mean by that is just had didn't have that that love from a parent okay or was mistreated heavily you know 
had their parent, they could have watched their parent have heated arguments all the time, which caused them to be careless. But there could be also a lot of heated arguments that you guys were having at the time and your person felt they could just go be hair, careless um, and go fuck around with attractive women. Um, somebody made you feel really ashamed of your physique, okay, because of the type of person that you saw them cheat with, okay. Somebody could have lost a lot of weight and was insecure looking in a mirror, um, wondering why they person don't touch them like that and then you see who they cheating with somebody who do have a nice shape it made you feel insecure for somebody okay your person is in a careless energy about well was okay it was in a careless energy about your feelings at this point so moving forward with now what's going on give me more messages um spirit Give me more messages for what's going on with my masculines and feminines watching this video. We got karmics deal with ape shit on the DM. Yeah, so back going back to this baby being had on and all that, okay. This is the type of shit that your person, you have to, for some of you guys, you have to be built. Your heart has to be built to deal with consistent letdowns, um, lies betrayal to be in a long-term relationship with this particular dm energy or df energy that i'm picking up on okay you have to be willing to put up with whatever they bring to the table whatever they serve you you gotta take it okay and apparently this karmic woman all right that possibly dealt with her person or allegedly dealt with her with your person having a baby on them um and is okay with having consistent heated arguments every time she got to allow this person to be around their child and the mother alone or <clears throat> she just you know got to be in situations where she can't control something with a new baby um it, it it drives a person insane okay um we got make smart money moves so somebody ain't making smart money moves or somebody is broke as fuck because they didn't make smart money moves they didn't do what they were supposed to do with their money all right or somebody didn't do something they were supposed to do with some money this is also causing heated arguments in a relationship or this is causing your person to get into heated arguments with everybody that they um are close to okay because now they seeing that now that they broke or now that you know they need some help or they need to get back on their feet or you know that they, they're mentally unstable or they down and out they just ain't they self people don't really want to be around them or they, they ain't the life of the party no more okay and because this person light ain't shining no more because the universe turned it off so people can see how ugly of this per of a person this person really is outside of the money and the fame and the nice cars, nice clothes, nice job, nice appearance, nice facade that they wear to the public. Um, people don't want to be bothered. They don't have friends, okay? We got karmic to DM. You never loved me, did you? So now this karmic woman, okay, if they're in a relationship or this karmic man is starting to, um, starting heated arguments with your person about them never loving them okay they're starting to see how emotional your person is over you while you gone they noticing like when i'm broken up from you or when i ain't around you you don't respond like this you losing weight okay you gotta you i ain't never seen you this skinny or you know this this if you especially if you have a stocky person that you're watching this video about they ain't never seen your person this out of shape okay this letting themselves go, all right? And it's making them feel like, you know, they never loved them on top of other things as far as babies being added to the equation and cheating and consistent back and forth. It's a lot of arguing going on about a possible child for sure though, okay? Or somebody having a child or somebody ain't seeing their child. Also for somebody, they masculine is being checked about not spending the proper time with their kids, okay? For somebody, they person then got with a woman that can't respect you if you don't respect your kids, okay? So somebody got some sense in the situation with your person and your person could be arguing with this new woman because or this man because they won't do for their kids or they could have a friend telling them you don't do for your kids. You got a man up and they didn't like it, okay? But somebody's front, uh, masculine's friend feel like they wouldn't be a man if they didn't tell them or they wouldn't be right, okay? We got a young investor, 
all right so somebody's a young investor or somebody's trying to invest into stock and land and shit early so that they can have a long life or your person could have been a young investor and now everything he's invested isn't there anymore okay we got root work so somebody's doing root work um and we got the cases stacked in your favor all right, we got throwing hella shade. So somebody needs to understand, especially if you're going to court with something, the case is and you're going, going to go in your favor, okay? I'm, I'm hearing like a settlement case or something. So somebody needs to know that they settlement case is definitely stacked in their favor and you're going to get that money. We got shit, uh, crazy shit been happening. Um, somebody's uh, want to call and tell you that crazy shit that happened, all right, in their life, shit that they can't believe, shit you wouldn't believe, somebody want to call you and get back to that normal conversation that they used to have with you, okay, they want to come tell you that they fit rock bottom over you, all right, so somebody, <laughs> yeah, since you left, they've hit rock bottom, or they're just in despair, but you know what, spirits is telling me to tell y'all to tell this person, cry me a fucking river, okay, Cry me a river, okay? You wasn't saying all of that when you was using black magic to hurt my feelings, okay? This is for a small energy that I'm picking up on. Somebody's person did use black magic to keep you in line and keep you in a confused, disrupted energy, okay? That's for a small collective. Not everybody's person was using magic, okay? We got DF to DM. You don't love anybody but yourself. So this is what y'all, y'all is fighting back with y'all words, okay? Y'all is letting people have it. Y'all is not allowing anybody to come tell y'all mess, bullshit anymore. You don't want to hear it. Move the fuck around. And that's actually really, really good, which is leaving your person and what type of energy when you tell them these things. When you put them in a place when you don't give them any airtime because that's what they need. No airtime because you know why? Because if the lies that they told you was the knife behind your back, they would have killed your ass, okay? So that's why you don't need to get them no motherfucking airtime because they can't tell the fucking truth and you just never know when they serious. And they really is serious this time. That's what's fucked up. They actually serious this time. And it's like the uh, sheep who cry wolf. Nobody's going to save you now because they don't believe it's real this time. But it really is. Ain't that crazy? Okay, look, we got heartbroken. Your person is heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad. So and they're deeply hurt and sad about a separation. About several separations. Okay, that's got them feeling lost on top of that. Some of them could be mourning and grieving over lo losing loved ones as well. It's just so much turmoil um, going on in this person's life in a time of peace, okay? And this person is realizing that they should have made better fucking choices because now shit is about to get real for them or is, giving real, or is getting real for them, okay? And spirit is making them detox. Making them detox the bullshit out their life, okay? So that is you guys' messages. Um, closing this reading out, Spirit, what advice do you have for my collective viewers watching on this Monday evening? What advice do you have for my collective watching this video? What advice do you have for the viewer and for my viewer's person? We got time to breathe it out. Okay, and we got... Oh, I'm going to do a reshuffle on that one because that came out with your stuff. So we got time to breathe it out, okay? So it's time for you guys to breathe that negative anxiety energy. Breathe out the information you just took in from this reading. Just breathe, okay? Breathe, 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 okay? That makes you feel a lot better when you stress the hell out or you in worry energy, all right? And then what advice do you got for my viewers person? Surrender to the divine, okay? That's all they had to do in the first place was surrender to the divine. Um, surrender to God, the universe, to their journey, to their path. But they chose to be tough, okay? And when you be tough, creator got to show you that they're tougher than you, okay? Excuse my cat back there um, having a fight with her mama. Sorry, guys. That's ghetto, but yeah. So, love and life to you guys, okay? Do not involve yourself in the shenanigans with your person, 
um, and also take what resonates with you only leave the rest whatever energy was not yours don't take it with you when you leave hey y'all stop it I'm so sorry y'all that was so ghetto but also hit that like button okay don't do me dirty and love and light to y'all